This is 1967 Washington Quarter from Special Mint Set, so called SMS Quarter, graded in Mint State 69 Cameo by NGC. According to Stax Powers, in 1965, the US Mint took a hiatus from striking annual proof sets and issued Special Mint Sets, coins that were struck on unpolished planchets by polished dice. These were not treated with the same care that proof coins were and coins hit against each other prior to the packaging. This is the finest example created by NGC. The fields have superlative watery reflective surfaces and the devices are fully rendered by the dice. It was sold for $822.50. Number 15. Here is 1943s Lincoln Sand with double die of verse. Graded in mint state 67 by PCGS, lovely mint frost radiates from the surfaces of this example, a rare attribute for any 1943 steel scent. This is also an example of the rare FS101 double diverse variety with doubling evident on the date in God We Trust and Liberty. A well struck piece with mark free surfaces, raised dye lines in the right of verse field should not be mistaken for hair lines or pin scratches. It was sold for $1351.25. Number 14. Here is 1939 Jefferson Nickel with double die reverse, otherwise known as doubled Monticello, rated in mid state 67 by PCGS, one of stars of the Jefferson Nickel series. The 1939 double dial reverse is an elusive variety that's not frequently encountered. This intensely lustrous steel gray gem is fairly well struck and aesthetically appealing, and the bolt doubling at Monticello and 5 cents is unmistakable, easily among the finest known of the variety and important to a registry set or other advanced Jefferson Nickel collection. It was sold for $2,820. Number 13. Moving on with his 1965 Kennedy of Dollar from Special Mint Set, graded as MS67 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Stunning and rare deep cameo quality for this challenging SMS Kennedy of Dollar issue. Both sides are essentially untoned to allow ready appreciation of an uncommon degree of field to device contrast, fully struck with silky smooth surfaces that border on pristine. The special mean sets of 1965 to 1967 were produced in lay of traditional proof sets, the federal government wrongly blaming numismatists for nationwide shortage of circulation coins, unlike proof coins struck immediately before and after. The SMS coins were prepared using dies that were not polished to the same degree. Additionally, the planchets for these issues were not burnished and they received only single impression from the dies. Perhaps not surprisingly, few 1965 SMS coins were produced with enough care to qualify for a deep or ultra camera designation from the major third party certification services. These elusive half dollar ended up selling for $3,360. Number 12, this is 1938 Lincoln Sent and PR66 red cameo condition. The frosty devices and deeply reflective fields of this pleasing gem cameo proof are bright mint orange throughout. Only 14,734 proof 1938 Lincoln Sent were struck. High end gems are rare. This coin is absolutely choice, both physically and aesthetically. It was sold for $1,527.50. Number 11, 1963 D. Washington Quarter in MS67 condition. This is a fully frosted, expertly preserved superb gem that is untoned apart from wisps of light golden tempatina that is boldest at the upper overs border. PCGS certified 38 specimens as is great with only single numerically finer. This example fetched the sum of $3,055. Number 10, 1950 proof was what time in PR69 ultra cameo condition. The mint resumed striking proof sets in 1950 after a pause for World War II and post war recovery. No finer 1950 dime proofs are certified than these blazing white, high contrast example. Richly frosted motifs sit on brilliant, flawlessly mirrored silver fields. It was sold for $16,800.
Number 9, 1952 D. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 67 was full steps. According to Heritage Auctions, as a numismatic hobby approached 30 years of third party certification, the only population data provides a clear indication of the relative rarity for every series, with understanding that the data is biased towards higher grade and rarer coins. Understanding that a full steps example is more likely to be submitted in the first place is important when considering the relative rarity of these coins. This brilliant superb gem with delicate champagne toning over frosty mint luster just misses six complete steps on the reverse. It was sold for $16,450. Here is Vivid Leton 1949 Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. The 1949 at 9.3 million coins struck has the lowest mintage for a Philadelphia quarter since 1932. The nearly perfect surfaces are virtually an aftersold on this spectacularly toned coin. The obverse is toned in rich shades of emerald green, scarlet, and lemon yellow that turns to lime green. The reverse is mostly brilliant save for the lower periphery which shows the same color as the obverse, but in seen rings. It was sold for $17,625. Number 7. This is 1947 D. Lincoln Cent in MS67 Plus red condition, moderately plentiful in MS67 red. The 1947 D. Lincoln Cent is rare. This is fine with CAC endorsement. The present plus graded piece displays satin and copper orange surfaces, and luminous fields. No distracting spots are seen. It was sold for $18,000. Number 6. This is 1950 proof Lincoln Cent in PR68 red ultra cameo condition. The 1950 is rarely seen with ultra cameo contrast. Mint officials had difficulty during the first year of, of proof production after an eight year hiatus. Pumpkin gold surfaces are practically perfect with deeply reflective mirrors and sickly frosted devices. This one ended up selling for $19,975. Number 5. This is 1953S Franklin Half Dollar in MS65 condition with full bell lines. How seldom do full bell lines examples of 1953S Half Dollar come around? Heritage averaged only about one lot a year, as glanced through the permanent auction archive shows. This notorious strike rarity seldom comes on market not only because few certified examples exist, but because when collectors get hold of some, they lose letting them go. This gem is bright and lightly frosted with gold orange patina at the left obverse and reverse, and a smidgen of blue between Liberty and In on the obverse. A single vertical abrasion at the back of the Franklin's head contributes to the grade. It was sold for $28,750. Number 4. This is 1948 Booker T. Washington Half Dollar in MS67 Plus condition. Vibrant, unabraded mint luster engulfs this high end superb gem living. The interior is brilliant but showing ribbons of rainbow toning around the borders. The tail is sharp. A loop reveals minor planchet marks on Washington's jaw, not fully struck out during coinage, but no mentionable abrasions are seen. The 1948 Booker T. Washington half dollar is plentiful overall, but superb gems are scarce, and plus graded pieces in this grade rare. It was sold for $36,000. Number 3. Here is 1950 Washington Quarter in PR68 deep cameo condition. Razor sharp and almost flawlessly preserved, showing stark contrast between the frosted devices and liquid like fields. Each side is brilliant, adding to the outstanding white and black appearance. The proof 1950 quarter exists mainly in non cameo grades. Deep cameo pieces are inherently rare. These specimens fetch the sum of $31,200. Number 2. This is 1949 D. Jefferson Nickel with D over S repunched mint mark, graded as MS67 full steps by PCGS. According to cherry pickers, the top serif of the S is visible to the north of the D, with the upper left loop of the S visible to the west of the D. 
A sharply struck superb gem with potent luster and medium caramel gold and steel grey toning. A loop reveals only a few pinpoint flecks. Since the San Francisco mint coin closed to 9.8 million nickels in 1949, the reason for shipping an over meat marked die to Denver must have been to meet an unanticipated Midwestern demand for denomination with no other reverse dies at the hand. This specimen was sold for $32,900. Number one, and this is 1954 Lincoln Sentinel 67 red condition. The Philadelphia Mint accomplished a mintage of nearly 72 million Lincoln cents in 1954. MS67 specimens are highly elusive. This intensely luster superb gem sense offers deep reddish orange coloration over both of words and the reverse. A degree of streaky tan color occurs near the top of the reverse, while the other side enjoys pleasing accents of lavender and powder blue. The strength of the design is readily apparent on the legends and the wit lines as is the absence of any buzzers and blemishes. It was sold for $31,200. This wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting content and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to unlock more valuable insights.